With many in our region suspecting further restrictions are on the way, it was lively in Leeds last night. There are definitely an influx of people coming out tonight. Um, speaking to lots of people, they are saying that they feel it is the last Saturday before the big close, so that's uh, making people a bit more anxious. Over in Sheffield this afternoon, though, it was already very quiet. The landlord at the Norfolk Arms thinks it could be a taste of what the future will bring. <sighs> it's, um, I feel like it's doomsday coming again. Um, I think we all know what's, what's happening, do you know what I mean? I think we'd rather be getting closed down now or shut, particularly with further restrictions in, because the restrictions are just doing more damage than good now. Paul has survived lockdown once, but is concerned about what it will mean financially if he's forced to close again. It'll mean that we'll need some support, um, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, it's, um, it's coming into difficult times. The one thing that's always been an oversight, and it was the last time, is your stock. We deal in fresh food. We throw all your stock away because it can't keep fresh and then it costs you sort of £10,000, £15,000 to restock it on the other side. The British Beer and Pub Association say there's no hard evidence to suggest that pubs are currently unsafe, and they're concerned that closing pubs won't make any difference to the spread of the virus. They're warning too that many of our pubs across the north might not be able to afford to reopen because they say the government support package doesn't go far enough. But the government says the support it's offering is unprecedented and the rate of growth in coronavirus cases has increased sharply. We know government action is on the way, but we'll have to wait until tomorrow to see exactly what those measures will be and how long they will last. Hannah Gray, BBC Look North.